Well, I've loved weather ever since I was five years old. Uh, I'd watch the weather on TV like six hours a day. Uh, as soon as I got my driver's license in 96, I had a 1985 Plymouth Reliant. Had a blown out muffler so you could hear it coming from like 10 miles away. And uh, I would sneak out and chase lake effect snow squalls in West Michigan. That's where I grew up. And uh, then in 98, uh, I decided to move to Oklahoma, uh, study meteorology at the University of Oklahoma, and saw my first tornado as a freshman down there that year, and I've been storm chasing ever since. The more storm chasers we have out there, the better, because it's difficult for a tornado to go unseen, and more importantly, unreported these days with all the eyes out in the field. Uh, but it's also really dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, when I started storm chasing, you know, we did the stupid thing, five of us packed in a vehicle, and next thing we know, we almost got hit by the F5, May 3rd, 99, in Oklahoma. So I learned the hard way. I easily could have died back then. I really wish I went with someone that knew what they were doing because I'd learn faster, I'd be safe, uh, I'd learn how to forecast. And I think for young people that want to get into storm chasing, it's important to go with someone that knows what they're doing so you can learn quicker and um, also take Skywarn training courses at your local National Weather Service to help learn the basics of storm structure before you get out there and chase. Weather affects me every day just like everybody that lives on this planet. And I think that's what really draws me to the science. Uh, one of my focuses are extreme weather, of course. Uh, but, you know, we can get snowstorms that can cripple cities, like for example, Chicago, with that 20 inches of snow and the thunder snow, and people are trapped on Lakeshore Drive. And you'd think that even with our technology, you know, you can prevent and be better coped to handle those types of blizzards. But the fact that it still just affects all of us uh, is amazing. And that's why everybody should have a weather station, because not only is it cool, to know, you know what the wind speed gets to or how high the temperature can get, uh, but it's, it also affects us every day, so it's important.